As a wood burner, you well know that burning wood leaves behind ashes. The type of wood that you burn is directly related to the amount of ash that will be, you'll be left with, but there will always be ashes remaining with a wood fire. There has been a question I've heard multiple times. Is it a good idea to remove your ashes completely from the fireplace or wood stove every time you build a fire? I'm Melissa from Northline Express and I'm here going to answer this question in this video. It is not a good idea to remove the ash from your fireplace or wood stove completely every time you build a fire. You should actually maintain a one inch layer of ash on the floor of the firebox during the regular heating season. Leaving this layer of ash will make it easier to build and maintain a fire. The hot coals tend to nestle in the ash and glow, adding more heat to the fuel and reflecting the heat back into the fire. Another benefit of that small layer of ash is it protects the floor of the firebox as well. If you have a fireplace, you want to make sure that you're not letting your ashes become deep enough that they are coming in contact with your fireplace grate. Not only will that prohibit air, air flow to your fire, it can also cause the grate to burn out prematurely from the exposure to excessive heat. If you have a wood stove, large amounts of ash left in the firebox will reduce the amount of wood that can be added to the firebox. In either case, if the ashes are cleaned out, you'll find that it's often more difficult to start a fire. And that's because you first have to heat up the brick as well as the whole inside of the firebox before your fire can really take off. A good tool to help constant wood burners will be an ash container with a lid as well as an ash separator like the Ember Extractor or the Ember Extractor Junior. The ash separators will allow you to sift out hot coals from the fine ash and remove that fine ash from your fireplace or your wood stove. And it's a much safer way to remove ashes. You'll have less hot coals to worry about in your ash container. The ash container comes into play when you remove the ash from your fireplace or wood stove. I use mine to transport the ashes from my wood stove to my large metal container that I store them during the burning season. I recommend an ash container with a lid because it's much safer to keep the dust down as well. The lid can also be important if you set your ashes outside and a winter breeze comes along. If this happens, the coals could become active again. That breeze could also actually disperse the active coals onto nearby structures and start a fire. You should always treat removed ashes with a great deal of respect and don't leave them unattended for long. So when is it appropriate to remove all of the fireplace ashes from your wood stove or firebox? At the end of the burning season. You don't want to leave your fireplace or wood stove full of ashes because ash could actually draw moisture and potentially rust metal components in your fireplace or wood stove. I hope you found this information helpful, but if you still have questions on ash removal in your fireplace or wood stove, give us a call at 866-667-8454. At Northline Express, home of the buy and try satisfaction guarantee, we're always happy to help.